Good evening, Philippines. This is Mike Padua, and we are back to our analysis for this uh, Wednesday to Friday, October 6 to 8, 2021, and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set beginning today, Wednesday, until tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, we still have two uh, broad or large slope ratio areas lingering across the uh, South China Sea, West Philippine Sea, and the uh, Western Pacific Ocean. And uh, first, we have to discuss Lani, which is still a low pressure area. It's struggling to develop because of its broad circulation. And its upper level winds along its periphery is very strong. That is uh, prohibiting some development of this system. Although it's starting to consolidate near the coast of uh, Vietnam. And it's already outside the Philippine area of responsibility, moving northwest with winds of 35 kph. So this uh, broad LPA 92W is enhancing uh, slightly the southwesterly wind flow or a weak habagat across the uh, uh, Kalayan Island group and the uh, Palawan area, including uh, Mindoro, particularly the Occidental Mindoro, Western Panay, and Sulu Archipelago, and including areas of offshore Bangsamoro south of Sambuanga. And uh, the rest of the Philippine Islands will have uh, good weather, uh, particularly over the Visayas and Mindanao area, but mostly cloudy with afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms becoming uh, more overcast with rains and thunderstorms across Luzon, Marinduque, Romblon, Batanes, Babuyan Kububu Islands because of this monsoon trough which is uh, connected with another LPA which is uh, lingering outside of the Philippine area of responsibility 100 kilometers east of PAR. So this LPA known as 93W and uh, the system is still low, has a lower chance of developing in a tropical cyclone within the next uh, 24 hours. Now this uh, large system has a uh, characteristics of a monsoon depression meaning the uh, winds near the center of this uh, of this uh, LPA is somewhat light and it extends up to 200 kilometers across while the uh, strong winds is uh, located along the periphery of this developing monsoon depression so meaning the winds will be along the periphery of this large uh, LPA so the winds will be somewhere here okay and it's moving uh, counterclockwise so that's the area where the strong winds will uh, is expected to uh, increase within the next uh, five days as the system is slowly develop as it moves towards the uh, Philippine Sea so we are keeping an eye on this uh, slow moving LPA and it's likely based on the computer models it might affect the extreme northern parts of Luzon, particularly Cagayan Valley, Batanes, and Babuin Kumab Islands, and also Taiwan, based on the large uh, wind circulation of this uh, monsoon depression. So it's likely to become a tropical storm based on the computer models or a category 1 minimal typhoon as it moves across Batanes, uh, Kumab Islands, or over the Balintang Channel by early next week based on the uh, current computer models but uh, we all know that these computer models will still uh, uh, change within the next uh, 12 to 24 hours as the system is slowly organizes over the philippine sea so uh, that's the latest from our graph set now let's take a look at the fast animation so there you go Here's the LPA 92W over the east coast of Vietnam and another one here which still uh, which is still uh, disorganized as of this time as it tends to develop and most computer models are uh, saying that this might become a, a large monsoon depression where the strong winds are located along the periphery and uh, lighter winds along the uh, central portion with uh, less convection along the central portion of this circulation and here's the uh, zoom in solid animation from windy.com as you can see some variable winds are now uh, prevailing across the zone but still uh, being affected by the monsoon trough from uh, LPA 92W all the way across the zone and into LPA 93W so that's the uh, monsoon trough bringing some thunderstorms across these areas 
and uh, some uh, slightly good weather here across Visayas and Mindanao but with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms and we have here the southwesterly wind flow affecting uh, Palawan and Sulu Archipelago particularly the western sections of, uh, of uh, Panay and also uh, Krayan Island Group and Occidental Mindoro okay and if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until friday we could expect some thunderstorms to occur across um, most parts of the zone because of the monsoon trough and uh, some isolated thunderstorms uh, in various sections of the country and here comes the uh, large monsoon depression developing over the uh, western pacific ocean entering the philippine sea and as we take a look at the latest uh, uh, forecast from the European model, so uh, for tomorrow, variable winds will uh, persist across the Philippine Islands with some localized thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. And uh, here comes the two uh, large uh, weather systems. This is 92W and uh, 93W slowly uh, intensifying. And on Friday, the uh, 92W might uh, develop into a tropical depression as it remains quasi-stationary along the uh, uh, eastern coast of uh, northern Vietnam. And we have here uh, a large uh, monsoon depression starting to organize, but maybe it's not yet a tropical depression, although the uh, atmospheric pressure is low, but it's a typical monsoon depression. And on Saturday, it will start to move west-northwest towards extreme northern zone and it's likely to become a tropical depression with uh, lighter winds uh, across the uh, center, central point of this uh, uh, tropical system and uh, winds of 40 to 60 kph here along the periphery. So it's very dangerous across the uh, uh, Philippine uh, seaboards. So please take on their side precautions. And uh, on Sunday, it might become a tropical storm, but still a monsoon depression type system moving uh, towards the uh, extreme northern parts of the zone. Window conditions will ex be expected across the coastal areas of Bicol region, uh, eastern Visayas, and eastern Luzon. And on Monday, it will be approaching uh, extreme northern Luzon. And some windy conditions will be expected across the zone and uh, Visayas, particularly Mimiropa, because of the large uh, circulation of this monsoon depression. And on uh, Tuesday, it will start to traverse the Balintang Channel, passing in between Cagayan, uh, Northern Cagayan and uh, Batanes, Babu and Kobob Islands. And... Uh, uh, the winds is uh, quite strong here along the uh, uh, North Philippine Sea and the West Philippine Sea, while winds of 50 up to 60 kph will be expected across uh, Western Luzon, Bicol Region, Mimaropa, and the Visayas. Here in the uh, Palawan area and the Occidental Mindoro and Western Visayas, this is already due to the southwesterly monsoonal flow enhanced uh, local monsoon because of this large weather system and on Wednesday it will be moving into the uh, West Philippine Sea or the northern part of the South China Sea in the general direction of Southern China. So that's the latest from the European model. Even the American model shows a track towards this uh, part of the Philippine Islands. So please take all necessary precautions. So the possible st st intensity of this system might be between a severe tropical storm around 95 kph to uh, 120 kph or category 1 uh, minimal typhoon based on what we see on the current uh, output from the computer models. So let's wait and see, particularly by um, next week on what will be the uh, forecast track of this system. But generally, it will uh, bring some winds and some rain showers and thunderstorms across Luzon because of this wide circulation. And uh, if you take a look at the ensemble tracks of ECMWF from Meteorologics.com, this is the latest based on the 8 a.m. output. It shows here that the uh, possible uh, track of this system or the window of uncertainty 
is somewhere here okay so that will be the midpoint of that system so it's likely to traverse extreme northern Luzon, similar or close to the path of Kiko, but it's on a more westerly track because of building high pressure to the north of the Philippine Islands. And if you take a look at the American model, so here's the uh, initial uh, movement for the next uh, three days. It will just be below tropical depression status, but within the next uh, four to six days up to seven days it will become a uh, tropical uh, depression and even into a tropical storm as it passes over extreme northern zone and it might reach uh, category one typhoon with winds of 120 kph or more as it moves across extreme northern zone in between cagayan and southern taiwan so that's the latest. We will uh, keep you updated on this system and watch out for our updates or advisory uh, from Typhoon 2000 regarding the uh, latest uh, situation on this uh, large and broad monsoon depression forming over the Western Pacific. And as we take a look at the global tropics hazards and benefits outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, is the latest and it's similar also with Pagasa so we don't need to uh, mention uh, that uh, slide anymore so uh, for week one valid October 6 to 12 a high probability of tropical cyclone formation over the uh, Philippine Islands so most likely it will be here based on the uh, reliable computer models slightly north of that red one and above average rainfall across the Philippine Islands and on October 13, week 2, until October 19, still continuing uh, high uh, probability of above uh, average rainfall across Luzon, including Mindoro, because of the presence of this uh, uh, monsoon depressions and tropical cyclone formation. And another uh, formation of a tropical cyclone is likely here on the second week, but it's still at 50-50 chance of developing. So we will uh, let you know by next week if it will push through. But so far, that's the latest from Typhoon 2000. And we'll be returning again on Friday to give you more updates on these tropical systems forming west and east of the Philippine Islands. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Paddy reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.